Soft skills are extremely important when it comes to hiring. Um, in, in the workforce, there's a lot of competition out there, and many skills are trained by a company and by an employer after they hire you. What they're looking for are those soft skills and traits that are not easily built into somebody after a hire. Uh, they're looking for people who truly have an attitude of service. They would like to make the customer happy. They, they enjoy going above and beyond. It has personal meaning to them. Um, they have great communication skills. From the beginning, willing to look somebody in the eye when they're talking to them. Soft skills cannot be taught, and hard skills can be. So um, if, you, if, I'm in, if I'm looking for an employee and that person lacks hard skills, but that person has the right attitude and the right personality for the company, I'm going to hire that person and teach them the hard skills. Personal traits that we look for in new hires always begin with interpersonal skills. It's very important that people have the ability to communicate with one another, that they have very strong teamwork skills. We work in teams all the time, that's very important. It's also important that they're respectful of one another. We believe in open-mindedness. We believe that people should be respectful of one another in terms of their differences, their ideas, and their perspectives. Um, being flexible and a dependable person makes you a good team player and that's really the most important part of, of being a good employee. Have a, a good sense of humor, uh, don't take everything quite as seriously as you might want to, but understand that there are different people with different viewpoints and how to work with those people. The most important soft skill as I see it is the ability to communicate in a friendly and articulate manner. Um, one of the great things that technology has given us is the ability to communicate in a variety of ways, whether it's text or email or Facebook messaging or whatever that might be. But through that, to some extent, what we've lost is the ability to have a conversation. And it sounds simple, but employers are looking for employees who are personable, relatable, and able to communicate their ideas and thoughts, both up the chain to their supervisors, across the chain to their co-workers and then also to um, customers. Another one of the skills is dependability. We want to know when we're hiring people that they're dependable. Not only do they show up on time for the interview, but they're also punctual when they come to work and they do what they need to do. Uh, we don't want to micromanage, any, micromanage anyone. We want to know that people are working to the best of their ability even when no one's watching. And if you want to be successful, you have to show up and not only show up, but you have to show up ready to work with a good attitude um, and, and ready to learn. The advice that I would give to students who want to develop those soft skills. First of all, good for you. It's important. Um, they're in demand and it's critical. It's definitely, uh, it can work to your advantage. Um, you know, I have a son and what I say to him is put down the phone and talk to me like a human being sitting in front of you. So you have all kinds of interactions whether it's with your friends or your parents or your neighbors or the parents of your friends. but. Set the phone down or your tablet or whatever device you're using and actually have a face-to-face -face conversation. Um, you know, other really critical advice I think to developing soft skills, uh, public speaking classes. It is everybody's worst fear and it, that's never going to change through your entire life. But every opportunity you have through school, take as many public speaking opportunities as you can. You know, you got to learn all the basics, but then on top of that, you just got to learn to be a, a good person and be patient, uh, or have patience, and just keep understanding the big picture and keep kind of plodding away at one step at a time.